All right, and we are back with more Trails of Cold Steel 3. It's your boy Top Cat the Gamer. Uh, we are in Ortis. I was saying Orti forever, but uh, Ortis, the port city, as you can see. The sun beaming, boy. Yeah, the graphics, they really like up the graphics and everything on this game. This is when you really see this series really take off. Uh, and, you know, they after they found some success. Um, but this is my favorite area in the entire, like, uh, series of Cold Steel. Like, this, this place is just beautiful to me. Uh, you don't get to spend a lot of time here in, in throughout the series, though. There's just a, uh, I think you come, you come here a few times, but not as much as I would want to be around this area. This is just a beautiful place to me. But we are going to get back in, uh, on the main story. We are uh, going to go meet uh, Muse's grandparents. So, yeah, this should be fun. A little freaky ass. Oh, this is... This is your home. And I ain't forgot about what they did that last video, having her walk off <laughs> and just have the dress slightly sway so you can see, like, her underwear and everything. They, 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 there's some freaky dudes that made this game. They, they real slick with it. It's really like, it's, but it's there. It's, the shit is there if you just pay attention to it. <laughs> yes, this is the, uh, the Count Igret residence where I used to live. I already told them about our visit, so please come in. You walking us straight into some kind of spider web? That's hilarious. <laughs> You'll find out soon enough. Let's just make sure we aren't rude to our family. Alright. Quite a bit of dialogue here. At long last. Welcome home, Lady Muse, said Suna. I'm so pleased to see you the first thing upon my arrival, said Suna. Hello. My apologies for the sudden visit. We are class seven of Thor's branch campus, right? Lady Muse has told me much about you. <laughs> Look at you in a pigeon toed ass. <laughs> and I just finished putting uh, on tea, the tea for you. Huh? How could she have known we were coming? She literally said that she told her. But of course she knew. I wrote to her about our impending arrival. She just said that outside. I told her right down to the very hour. How? That's not humanly possible. Mm, yeah, you you kind of end up finding out. Welcome home, you say. We've missed you so. My boy looks. <laughs> Why look like he giving Rain this side eye right now? Like, fuck this guy. County Grit. Lady Suzanne. They look so damn serious. Where the smiles? You haven't changed at all, my dear. Okay, she smiled a little bit. And I see you brought guests. You must excuse me for not coming down. I am Theodore Grit, Musee's grandfather. Welcome, members of Class 7 and Ashen Chevalier. What the hell is Ash doing? Wow, these taste amazing. The tea leaves must be of high... Wait, they eat tea leaves? What the hell? The tea leaves must be of very high quality. The scones are freshly baked too. Oh, okay, she was talking about the, the food and he's talking about the tea. I was like, what the hell's going on? <laughs> it's from Oreds or Oreds? First flush of the season. It pairs well with Setsuna's confections, no? Instructor, I've heard your style of swordsmanship hails from the east. Would you have preferred green tea from Long Island? This suits me perfectly fine, I assure you. You must be familiar with a variety of customs outside of Erebonia. Were you the one who gave Muse a kimono? Well, a man in retirement has more time on his hands than he'll ever know what to do with it. <laughs> My boy just basically said, look, I'm fucking bored. All right. <laughs> And this being a port city, I have access to goods near and far. 
with all he buys we soon won't be able to fit into our home <laughs> damn he a hoarder ah but it's one of his few pleasures in life now you've come all this way, please relax. I just fear I have no information to share on that Jaeger core you're, you're searching for. Huh? Like how the fuck did he know about that, huh? How did you know? I heard that you stopped by the naval fortress. Call it a guess between the timing of your visit and circumstances as they are. How in the hell did he hear about them stopping at the, the fortress? Oh, grandfather, you trickster. You did the same damn thing. You got a good nose for sniffing things out, huh, old man? Ash, that's rude. <laughs> Callie Grit used to serve as the previous uh, Duke Cayenne's advisor. I still listen to plenty of hearsay. And speaking of, you do me great honor by visiting my home, Ash and Chevalier. My granddaughter being the delight that she is, we may end up getting to know each other very well in the future uh fuck no <laughs> oh you do go on yeah she been talking uh well everything about her makes sense now just what did you write in that letter <laughs> now now me say don't cause trouble for your school you must forgive us i'm just so excited to see her again all jokes aside, you come to the city at a peculiar time. The Imperial Provincial uh, Council begins tomorrow. To have so many ruling lords present will no doubt bring his share of trouble. Perhaps, but will you not be in attendance? I've had the privilege of an invitation, but retirement suits me. The main topic of discussion uh, bids me to remain quiet as well. Of course. It is a topic worthy of discussion, however. Agreed, it's much more serious than the state of, uh, cruising. Yep, even a commoner like me gets that. Allie, any ideas? I only have information on the orders at, uh, around the time of the war. Anything we say on the matter will be pure speculation, so why don't we stop before we get ahead of ourselves? <laughs> Too true. Ah, I heard the branch campus principal is General Le Guin. What do you think of her? She crazy as hell. Well, <laughs> she lives up to everything people say, to be certain. Nothing I heard in Raquel could have prepared me for that whack job. <laughs> <laughs> I never met someone so extraordinary with the ego to match. That's saying quite a lot, though I can't deny any of it. Your honesty is refreshing. <laughs> Look, General Le Guin just knows she, she knows that she's a badass. She doesn't care who knows that she's badass. She just carries herself like that at all times. Like, you gotta respect it. I've known her since she was a child. Due to being acquainted with the previous count, I never thought she would gain such a name for herself. The regrets quite adore General Le Guin. And I'm certain she is equally as loved throughout Ortis. It would be no exaggeration to call her our hero, in fact. It was she who protected our port from the Imperial Army during the Civil War. I mean, I've heard those stories, sure. We only see her as a terrifying principal, I fear. She's not terrifying at all. That's, a, that's the craziest thing about it. Like, don't get me wrong. She is an ego and, you know, she comes out with that every now and then, but... Sorry about that. Oh, she really means well. And I, I she really wants the best for everybody. She just wants to see her school succeed. And there's nothing wrong with that. Pardon us. We've completely overstayed our welcome. But I enjoyed hearing all the stories uh, you told us. The tea and scones were very good. We love having you here. Indeed, you put a smile on this old man's face. You've made some wonderful friends, Musée. I certainly have. Well then, Grandfather, Grandmother, Setsuna, I shall return once uh, again once we're on break. You take care of your uh, doing your activities. I shall prepare some excellent tea and scones upon your return. Okie dokie.
What a nice family. Your Gramps is quite the character. He's a bit of a jokester too, shit. <laughs> well, even though he's retired now, I can tell he must have been rather accomplished in his day. That's very kind of you. He took care of me ever since I lost my parents. However, since I left home for school when I was just nine, I wish I could do more for him. I see. I remember you telling me about your parents. But why did he even let you go to the military academy? Let alone you uh, you to quit in the girls' school. And it wasn't even the main campus, but some branch campus full of weird old and troublemakers. I had my reasons for leaving the girls' school. I figured that since the times are the way they are the way they are now, I shouldn't roll at Thor's. Also, in regards to the main campus. They really intensified their evaluations of the noble students. So grandfather was okay with me going to the branch campus, especially since General Le Guin is the principal. I see. There are many contributing factors. It's kind of surprising. Notice how quiet Reen is about I the whole thing. I wasn't able to help you at all. Neither was I. I wish there was something I could have done. <laughs> Your concern is more than enough. I couldn't keep going to St. Astraya either way. Reasons. I'm sure you did. Then I entered the branch campus and met everyone in military finance in class 7. Most importantly, I met a shark to ring. I must have, it must have been Destiny. <laughs> she had to squeeze it in. <laughs> Destiny aside, I'm glad you feel that way about meeting us. Anyhow, let's resume our special ops missions. There are still areas we haven't been to yet. You're right. Let's go. <laughs> I haven't relaxed like this in a while. I hope grandfather, grandmother, and Setsuna are doing well. In any event, I should consider this a nice starting over point. Alright, so she gets her S craft after that, but you, you know. I think we did everything here so we'll head through the harbor I think we're done you know we're done getting all the um, gifts as a matter of fact I need to go ahead and send those before I end up forgetting whoa looking at it from here this is this really is a huge port city there are tons of large ships, freighters, and it looks like there are private yachts too. They say that more uh, that more freight passes through here than just about anywhere else on the continent. One can see why this place is called the Root of the Mare's Abundance. So, phony locks, don't you have a ship? Her locks aren't phony. <laughs> My grandfather owns. A commercial ship and one freighter. That's about it. This dude is roasting the class and shit. Many nobles have had to let go of their ships recently. I've heard many of the owners are from the capital. I see. I guess that's a sign of the times. We have a quest. And there should be a sailor bar around here. It might be a good idea to go there to gather information for our investigation. I see. Understood. Now let's start gathering information. All right. Um. So this is the other quest is there. Uh. There is a scenic picture over here. So let's get over there and get that. Is it here or yeah? There it is. Wait. I just saw it pop up. There it goes. See what I'm saying, man? Just beautiful and they and they show like the other part of the city so when they tell you stuff like it was 460,000 people that live here you looking like wait a minute this place looks kind of small in comparison to that but they show like the other half of the city over to that side over there the wharf really has a special air about it it's perfect for picking up chicks the kind of with a pretty face and not much going on upstairs <laughs> 
You and your remarks. This dude right here be tripping. Ash gonna get canceled. <laughs> In any case, if you, all, if you all wouldn't mind giving me and the instructor some private time, fuck, you never stop either. <laughs> this is quite a view. Maybe I'll take a landscape photo from Phoebe. Jesus, man. These kids be tripping, man. <laughs> Shit. So green. Yeah, there you go, Phoebe. No. Oh, wow. Yep, yep. She said the same thing every time, so nothing different. Alright, and uh, in the tavern here, there's a fishing spot down there, too, as a matter of fact. Um, but in the tavern here, you get the, um, damn, where's the door? Oh, there it is. You get the recipe, I think it's the pa paella, um, let me see. Yeah, because they're, they're right after each other. Alright, uh, doesn't really like much is going on up there. You can talk to the people if you want. This dude looks like he's in a bit of a panic here. Oh, hey, Welcome. Sorry about all the noise. Well, customers can get rowdy, but they're all nice people. So order away. Wow, this is a lot. You're like a mom to all of us. Oh, no, no, stop it. I don't want such big kids. <laughs> and most like, ha 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 ha, boy. <laughs> he said it from the gut. It's so lively. Uh, who did that uh, Heidegger off of uh, Final Fantasy VII? That ah ha ha ha. A tavern. This is the first. This is my first time coming to a place like this. I think that you can uh, just double check that. Yeah, it's the pie area. All right. So we are good, and now we are going to head to the noble district. I don't think there's any stores over here though. Wow, St. Ark was pretty and all, but this is the embodiment of magnificence. There's a reason this place is so popular with the nobility. Damn, look at all those mansions. Compensated much? Look at that. That one, that one's more castle than a mansion. That's the Kayan estate. The former home of, Duke, of the Duke pulling the strings during the Civil War, and that of the largest noble house in, there, in the Empire. Uh, that's right. I imagine Duke Kayan is a sensitive subject for people in Ordis. Everyone sees him a little differently, but they'd all tell you his imprisonment of the Imper uh, the yeah his imprisonment of the Imperial family was nothing short of a disaster, and that he deserved his arrest. How could uh, he have done something so foolish? Things like that. I see. The way I see it, if it didn't blow up in his face, the nobles would be singing his praises right now. <laughs> God, I just hate to say it. He has a point. By the way, it sounds like Duke Cayenne's mansion is going to be the site of the Imperial Provincial Council. Meaning that this would be a good district for us to patrol. Agreed. And with the cathedral so close... I imagine this area will draw a sizable crowd. I think this is the last district uh, museum mentioned. Once we're done here, we should make our way uh, south of the coastal road. That's right, we got a monster to take down. It won't be easy. We'll have to be ready for anything. All right, I don't think there's much to really um, do here in this part. There, uh, this, the little area there, um, in uh, the Florals Mansion right here. It's about a book. I think it's one of the Kobe books, if I'm not mistaken. That is, where is it? It's on the, sec it's on the second floor. Yeah, excuse me, brother. I'll just walk on in and just collect this book that's sitting on the shelf and not talk to none of y'all. Read Found Kobe in the Mysterious Museum Part 2. You can read it. Of course. And it's been added to your notes. 
And that is Ferris's father. We let me see what he says. No, oh, he started talking about some other shit. Yeah, dude. All right, let's go down here and go say hey to Ferris. Like she didn't see us come in. I shall be heading out now, Rennie. But my lady, you shouldn't go Don't alone. Don't worry, I am a graduate of a military academy. With that shop opening here, I can't simply rest on my laurels. I need to be proactive. <laughs> this woman is... Huh? Oh, a customer? A customer. Huh? Reen? <laughs> Long time no see, Ferris. Ferris Bueller. I mean, Ferris Flo. <laughs> I'm just playing. <laughs> Welcome to Ordis, everyone, from Thor's Branch Campus. I am Ferris Florald, eldest daughter, wow, they spelled that wrong, daughter of Count Florald. It's a pleasure to meet you all. Wow, she's beautiful. Let me guess, she's yet another one of your old schoolmates, huh, Teach? Hey, don't say it like that. She's in the same class as Patrick. They were always competing with all of us in class 7. My, that certainly takes me back. I also, I, I was also on the lacrosse uh, club with Lisa. She was my rival at first, but before I knew it, we had become best friends. Oh, this is embarrassing. She's kind of cute. You two would probably get along. You both joined sports clubs after all. By the way, have you kept in touch with Lisa? Yes, quite often, actually. She's helping me with an issue that I'm dealing with right now. An issue, you say? Mm, how should I put this? My lady is the manager of uh, Riviera Court, a sh huge shopping mall in Ordis. Riviera Court? We did, uh, didn't we see it earlier? I see. If I remember correctly, Riviera Court is co-owned by multiple noble families, correct? Yes, and the Floral family is one of the primary investors. However, since Clyde Small opened, opened half a year ago, our sales have nosedived. I was put in this position to help Riviera Court recover. Clyde Small? Isn't it run by Hugo's family? Looks like the uh, things are pretty complicated. I haven't seen him since graduation, but I am cog cognizant of his abilities. And his Hugo person is another one of uh, his classmates. <laughs> My father should be the one doing this, but he has his hands full of politics. My brother is focusing on managing um, our territory. Uh, uh, I forget his name. Vincent, I think his name. I see. I guess nobles don't necessarily have it easy. If anything, they are feeling the weakening of the noble power structure. Yes, precisely. Not to mention, we're up against Clyde Small. That just adds to the complexity of our situation. What am I doing? I shouldn't be talking about this with customers. <laughs> Please don't mind me. I'm currently preparing countermeasures. May we have good fortune on uh, may you have good fortune on your field exercises. If you need anything, please buy it from us. Yes, thank you. Sorry for bothering you. When you're so busy, good luck with everything. I said that all wrong. I mean, so 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 sorry to bother you when you're busy. Thank you. Now, if you'll excuse me, see you later, everyone. All right. So we're kind of done with everywhere we need to go. Uh, there's because yeah, there's really nothing else around unless you want to just go talk to people. I am going to hand off these gifts real quick before I forget. What is that? Oh, okay, the other part of it. Uh... Isn't this one of those uh, new Orbo juicers? I can't accept this. I really like it if you would. This is show my gratitude for all your hard work. You know how to cook, so I'm sure you'll get use out of it. Well, if you insist. Alright, I'll make you a smoothie next time, instructor. 
Yes. Oh, huh? Bet this will do my hair some good. <laughs> Why you give me the size of the book? Ash, I know all the hard work you do when no one's looking. Just do me a favor and accept it. Man, everything you say is so damn annoying. <laughs> oh well, I'll use it at least. It was like, why you always gotta be an ass, bro? Like, come on, man. I should send this to Lisa. Yeah. Yeah, sharing a gift. Okay, she's good. She's at the maximum. One down, many more to go. This is for Alfin. Alright. And I'm going to take a quick minute here. You'll see it as a quick little edit. Uh, I got something I got to take care of. I'll be right back in a sec. All right, we're back. Quick little edit there. Um, we're going to go ahead and head out to the Oral's Coaster Road uh, with the quest. So what I try to do in these games I've already played, because um, this is the second playthrough for me, I just try to do the quests that actually are tied to characters that mean something to the game. Because uh, I've already done... I've done every quest in this game already. I don't remember half of them. But, <laughs> but like like this one Rosine Rosine is a, char a key character in the story to me like she she means something to the story I guess I'll say so I'll do a quest like that for her the branch campus quest for the kids uh only one I didn't do was the one for Freddy that was because I already got access to his stuff and so I already uh didn't feel like I needed to do it and like we're doing the one for Gustav uh, but yeah, I'll do the ones for the people that actually need something to the story. But some of these other ones, like these fetch questy type things, I'm going to pass on them. It doesn't have anything to do with a character that I know is key or means something to the story. I'm not going to do it. So sorry about that. I'm not showing every quest. I guess uh, it's just a waste of time for me because I've already done them. And they're mostly fetch quests anyway and easy quests to do. So if you want to do them... I would say do them. They actually give you like, um, I know the one for the Orbital Factory gives you an Evergreen. So really great accessory. So do all the quests in the game. That's what I'd say, honestly. If especially if it's your first playthrough. Uh, let's go, uh, huh? Are those waves out here? We must be near the water. Well, we are heading toward the coastal road. It runs through the port city and fishing villages alike, but you never know that from how few people actually use it. I'd imagine most travelers opt to use the sea routes instead. Cool. It'll make it easier to find and kick that wanted monster's ass. <laughs> it's supposed to be uh, to appear on the beach. Let's make our way over there. Yeah, let's go. I always wonder in anime, like, the, the kids just cuss their ass off. And, like, the uh, no, none of the adults say anything. Or it'll be like language or something like that. Watch your mouth. They, they don't do that, but in real life, hell yeah, you can't, you can't cuss around no adults, they'll lose their mind. What the hell? What'd you say, boy? You be saying, that, oh, I'm sorry, I uh, thought that uh, it was okay for me to say that. And, uh... All right, let me see. So I know, I think that is a freeze, that first chest over there. And I think these are seeds. Near where the monster is, I think that is one of these is not. Oh, there's a beach! Come on, I want to go. Oh God! You know, you're getting too worked up. Visiting the beach is always nice, though. Yeah, that's a freeze right there. Oh, let me turn the turbo on. Sorry about that. I think this is a accessory. Oh, those are potato seeds. Okay. So, okay. I know there's uh, an accessory out here, too. Oh. Can't go that way. I'm trying to see. Well, let's just take a straight there. Most of the stuff I, I just don't, like the treasure chest and everything like that. Uh, these are also some really good oh. monsters to level up on, on this part. Uh, they, the difficulty on them it's a little goes a little up right here 
Whoa. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> there she goes. We're at the beach. <laughs> and some hot ass boots. <laughs> it's so salty. Why would she put it in her mouth? Who dives straight into the water like that? Getting soaked with seawater seems like it could be problematic. <laughs> <laughs> I have to admit, that does look fun. All this sand and not a single sun-kissed lady in sight? What a waste. I gotta agree with him on it. <laughs> they each show their personalities every time they talk. Altina is calculating. <laughs> Ash always had to say something about women. <laughs> I remember, really. In fact, maybe we should uh, start start tracking down our monster down. Sorry, the search begins, and there is nothing like you do not have to go far. But these, I know these enemies right here, they they uh give good uh XP, and right here is good to get them like cluttered cluttered clustered up, do like the three way fights and stuff like that. I think this is accessory. Oh, that's the fishing bait. So the other one is the accessory. I think it's like some leggings or something like that. And the monster you fight over here is like a big ass crab. Yeah, there. It certainly matches the description. So that's the one that monster <clears throat> looks rather strong. This is this one seems to you know, be in a holy. Ah, this one. This one seems to be in a whole other league than the others. Jesus, why can't I get my words right? Who cares? We're going to mess it up either way. No, we're going to take it down calmly and carefully. Hey, yeah. That enemy is strong. Please be careful. This one's strong. Be now, careful. Now, I think this thing's defense is really good, but that's really it. Um, but we're going to fuck Roar. it up real quick. Uh, helix strike! It's down! Too slow! Yeah, you see how good his defense is? It's my turn! Uh, yeah, stop that! Our chance. We got almost got him broke though. There we go. My turn! Yeah! It's down! An opening! Sure! Yeah. It's down! An opening! Let's go! Uh, zero art. Uh, okay, the soul blur. Yeah! Here I go! Yeah! Hey! Wide open! Too slow! Nice. It's my turn! Sit! He's out of there. <sighs> Everyone okay? Now, if you got a magic user, you can end that fight really fast. Uh, I didn't have a magic user basically in the party. <laughs> I kind of put Ali and um, Muse kind of in the back. I use them whenever I need to heal and everything, but my main party it usually consists of the four basic fighters. I just like the way their styles like help each other. Like uh, Ash can break. I mean, well, I mean, uh, Yuna can break. And Ash does extra damage to things that are broken. Kurt is like an evasion tank. And then, you, of course, Reen is just, you know, all around powerful. Enemy defeated. Didn't exactly go down easy. Nonetheless, we stand victorious. Jeez, it's a real shame that monsters had to show up and ruin a perfectly good beach. So close to the city, too. When I was young, it was... It was well kept, and people were able to swim undisturbed. But since the Civil War, it seems that the maintenance has fallen by the wayside. Hmm. Memories. She actually had a real moment. You say, everything okay? Oh, I'm fine. Have we completed all our required requests around the port city? Yeah, it's almost noon now, so let's head back to town. All right. Ah, we can't even fast travel. 
yeah but i definitely recommend um getting you know around here and fighting some of these monsters and they uh, level up uh you could level up pretty good out here son Hmm. Hmm, what? Quiet. Get down. The boy's running on foot. What gives? I hear movement. Multiple people. They're not civilians. Listen closely. They're trained. How the hell can you listen to that? <laughs> so <laughs> Soldiers? In an area with so few people, so close to orders. I'm surprised you noticed, Ash. What? You thought you were the only one who picks up on this stuff? This is just what Brigadier General's advisory pointed us to. We need to get to the bottom of this. Can you all keep up? Of course. Who do you think you're talking to? I will give this my all. Shall we then? It should be around these hills, a side road off the coastal road. To me, something is close by. Don't make any sudden movements. So yes, to me, sir. to me, Ash is a very um interesting character. Uh, as a matter of fact, yeah, you know what? Let me go back down here. Cause through here, I wanted to show this. There's also a chest back here well, and a fishing spot. What do we have here? Nice there, little There's away. the leggings. Okay. That's another fishing spot back there, so don't miss that. I think you get different fish at you know each one. So, all right, let me head up this way. Ash is a very interesting character, but I honestly think confirmed uh, targets are on the move. They should be just beyond here. I think he could be a uh, leader of Take this. Care. I thought he was going to become leader of this hmm. group. Now who could they be? But he um he just he's so reckless and stuff though so that hinders his leadership I feel. But he's very he's very capable. I think he could be a good leader. It's just he the attitude there. What do we do, instructor? Just as your training taught you, cover the exits. Altina, Ash, think you can circle around. Understood. Done and done. Damn boy, just ran up to you. So what'd you learn about the dragon's formation? It's just as we thought. Hardly any guards around our around the detour. If we can get behind them and take the area to the southwest, we should be able to take them with the out with us with a surprise attack. How the hell can they see them nod from all the way over there? Don't move. What the? Enemies. That's a hell of a jump. And they break no leg, nothing. <laughs> I don't know what Comsley said. Uh, hey, assholes. <laughs> Please do not move. <laughs> Gotta watch your back, man. <laughs> Women and children. Wait, those uniforms. You're those students, aren't you? But why would you have that puppet? We're class seven special operations of Thor's military branch campus. We noticed uh, your suspicious activities while on patrol. Care to explain yourselves? Reen Schwarzer? The Ashen Chevalier himself. What the hell are you doing around here? They certainly seem like professionals, in a way. Yeah, and it seems they got a bone to pick with me. On the contrary, we don't have anything against you. You could even say we're grateful to you, in a sense. What? But as long as you stand with the Empire, we can't allow you to get in our way. If you stand against us, we'll take you down. Come on, like, seriously, bro? You know who this dude is. Targets confirmed as Jaegers. Begin suppressive maneuvers. Combat links on. Watch out for counterattacks. Yes, sir. Watch out! This is a tough one. 
No, oh, God, I'm gonna end this pretty quick. Form. And burst. Let's go, everyone. Yeah. These I'm dudes are yeah. not all that. They, they're pretty easy to take down, even um. I got this. On your first playthrough, you should be able to hey, whip them pretty good. Rest in peace. It's down. An opening. No pity. Boy, sleep. No, he, right. he gonna take it deep while he sleep. You can't escape. Fire! No I pity. Feel. All right. Okay, let's keep moving. Forty-one seconds. That'll work. Damn, we were so focused on the Ash Chevalier that we we took the kids too lightly. We should have accounted for that. So these are Yegas, huh? They're pretty tough. If they keep coming, for sure keep kicking their asses. You should be good and leveled up at this point in your first playthrough. It, it, it shouldn't be that hard of a fight, like, honestly. Even though they're talking like that. You're capable of fighters. You must be from some high rank court. But which one? Instructor. Two o'clock. Get back. Bomb Salace. They had ample time to shoot them. How the hell they miss? <laughs> That's a lot of new enemies. They'll kick their ass too. It seems the shoe is on the other foot. Is it though? I was wondering why you hadn't rendezvoused. Rendezvoused. Wow. <laughs> But I never expected, I never would have expected you were being held up by the Ashen Chevalier. To think we'd run into you so far from home. I'll ask you again, who are you and how do you know me? Your armaments, your uniforms. I can't say that I've seen them before. You don't deserve any answers. You won't die today, Chevalier. But we're not letting you go unharmed. We didn't come all this way to have you spoil things. After all. All units prepare to withdraw. I'll cut you an escape route. But hell no. I'm not about to owe you one. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> That's as far as you go. Ah, there he is. Boy came in as a one man He's cavalry. He is on the horse. <laughs> go! Hey. <laughs> uh, another puppet? Wait, isn't that Milliam? It seems my bad feeling was correct. One, two, three. Uh, it's gonna be hard to catch them all. <laughs> what a Pokemon now? You have now? the advantage in numbers, but we've already broken your formation. Are you sure you want to continue this? <laughs> Stand down. We've lost enough men for one day. D four, S five. Smoke bomb. Flash grenade. Oh, Everyone flash down. grenade. Okay, I thought he was gonna do a smoke bomb. Uh, no. I mean, they right there. Get just, back here, you bastards! Just shoot their ass. Ah, uh, didn't reach. Ash and Chevalier, students of Thor's. You bested us once. It will not happen again. Right. <sighs> We lost them. They're right there. You can Damn just it. go right after them. They right there. Flash grenades? I wasn't expecting that. If only we could have reacted more quickly. They outfoxed uh, us. Flash We weren't good enough. Flash grenade did not seem to mess with y'all at all. Yes, we were. We all came out of the situation unharmed. Let's learn from this mistake. Right. Very well. I won't repeat this error. Whatever. <laughs> <laughs> I see you're putting all that positivity to good use, Reen. Like zero accountability, whatever. I and I haven't named it. Really. <laughs> it's like you were born to be an instructor. It's good to see you, Yusis. Hello again, Milliam. Is it just last month I saw you? But hold on. Weren't you supposed to arrive tonight? Our airship was ready earlier than we'd anticipated. And as a result, we just landed at Ordis Airport minutes ago. 
as soon as we did, we heard from Patrick and came after you. <laughs> it was a total coincidence, but it really seemed like we had it all planned out, huh? <laughs> you discerned our whereabouts so quickly. <laughs> it's almost comforting how little you two have changed. But come on, galloping to our rescue atop a white stallion? Even you <laughs> have to admit that's a little much. <laughs> right? <laughs> <laughs> Such an entrance comes naturally to me, I suppose. Yeah, you whatever. And me both, <laughs> <Jesus>. <laughs> there it is. <laughs> so uh, this you, guy is Governor General Rufus. You gotta love him, though. You gotta love him. His younger brother, yes. <laughs> and the half stack's one of Little Bunny's relatives too. She isn't exactly your relative. She kinda is. Forgive us. We haven't yet introduced ourselves. I'm Milliam. Milliam Orion! Nice to meet ya! And I'm Yusus Alberea, second son of Duke Alberea. It's a pleasure to meet you, my class 7 successors. Yusus has changed a lot too. Uh, they, uh, the, the character arcs on here have been nothing short of impressive. Milliam is always Milliam, so really don't have to really worry about her. That is a big ass home. Look at that place. Damn. Insane. Like, why the hell would you need your mansion, castle, whatever, to be that damn big? Um, let me make sure I've got this straight. We have House Cayenne to the west and House Alvarez to the east. House Rogner to the north. And house high arms to the south. These make up the four great houses. Yes, you can consider them the leaders of the nobility. And we have two out of four right here. I'm the third son, so I'm really only here to observe. Eustace is the actual representative of House Alvarado. Temporarily. Du Cayenne is in prison, while Marquis... Uh, Marcus Wagner declined to participate. The situation is more or less the same as last year. I mean, uh, Mar Marcus, ah, Marquis Wagner is Angelica's father. It's too bad. I understand why it is what it is, but it's still concerning. What about it? Well, <clears throat> if you won't say it, I will. The era of the nobility being in power is over. What? You didn't hold back one bit? It pains me to hear it, but that makes it true nonetheless. I'm sure you felt it in Sutherland, but the mayor and Cruzen, uh, is it Cruzen? Cruzen? Cruzen are getting more and more influenced by the government as well. I imagine it intends to do away with the current tax system entirely through the Eight Metropolis plan. I believe the empire does need a change, but moving forward with social reforms too quickly will only result in confusing and unnecessary conflict. He's got a point there. There have reportedly been instances of ruling lords relinquishing their land, only for that land to be bought by companies. Oh, sorry about that. That yarn came out of nowhere. <laughs> and the common people living there forced out. I think I heard something similar. Restructuring the government is a rational move uh, from their perspective, but this isn't the only way. To, I mean, this isn't the way to go about it. I agree with you. But it's hard to go against the word of the blood and iron chancellor. Ring. What was that? Our strategy to counter this rapid change will be one of the main focuses of the Imperial Provincial Council. That is our duty as a nobility. 
you needn't be forced to focus on anything but your own duties. Uses. You have yourself a deal. I'll be rooting for you. Leave everything to me. I hope you uh, I hope your own exercise is also rewarded in time. So do I. It's vital that we confirm it. There are Jaeger Corps roaming the area. I've already contacted both the Brigadier General and the RMP. If only we could figure out who they are. They don't belong to either of the ones that appeared in Sutherland, right? No, judging by the uniform. But their gear didn't match with anyone registered in the database. We should already have a pretty good grasp on all the cores in the western side of the continent. What if it is an existing core or some other group in disguise? That's always possible. If I had to wager a guess, they would be... They said something about their enemy, the dragon's formation, whatever that means. I'm surprised you heard them. Interesting, so these purple Jaegers have an enemy. Judge them by the use of formation, they're patrolling in hopes of executing a surprise attack on them. That sounds good enough for me. But who are these dragons? Hmm, it does ring a bell. I feel as though I remember it as part of the information we've already gathered. I have to wonder where these purple Jaegers intend to go. We saw them heading towards the eastern hillside. Towards the exercise field exercise camp? No, it wasn't quite there. I mean, there's nothing like uh, nothing. There's like nothing in that direction. Even if you go along the river, you just hit the canyon. What if that was their destination? If the dragons are already in position, Sorry about that, my mic. What the hell is going on? Oh, one second. I don't know what's going on with this mic. Uh, okay, there we go. Uh, if the dragons are already in position within the canyon, then the Jaegers can go and launch a surprise attack. I can see that. I don't know what's going on with this thing. Instructor, we're going to Raquel this afternoon, right? It's in that area we uh, passed just this morning on the train. That area is called La... Laguduk? Languedoc? Yeah, la let's go Languedoc. Languedoc Canyon. We'll be passing through anyway. So you may as well look into this. So it's, it's just some of this stuff on here is like, you see it and you're like, I, I want to see it this way and it ends up being a totally different way. I know the area pretty well myself. It's like your own personal playground, you naughty naughty boy. That... <laughs> that did not come out well. <laughs> easy, easy. I'm glad to have you around. Then I'll leave everything related to Raquel and the Jaegers to you. We'll make our way there as soon as we've contacted the camp. Ooh, maybe I can go too. It's about time for the Mealy Tilly Lammy Sammy's reunion special. <laughs> I'm okay. <laughs> what the hell? The, the Mealy Tilly Lammy Sammy reunion special? That's hilarious. Both instructors and students were treated to a modest lunch of sandwiches and tea. Upon finishing, they, they then said their goodbyes to Eustace and Patrick. Also, Milliam is coming with us. Sheesh, I was thinking uh, this last time we passed through, but when nobles are rich, they are really rich. You think? Having that much money just must rot your brain. I imagine maintenance on a, on a manor of this size costs a small fortune. Damn right it does. Well, it is the castle of the most prosperous noble family in the empire. Makes sense. Still, though. I've heard the Albrea home is pretty sizable as well, Lord uses It actually really is, too. Well, as you might imagine, it can hardly be compared to this one. 
I don't know. I say it's apples to apples. I kind of have to agree. That hall there is big too. That that like it's really big. Williams, right? I remember my jaw dropping when I first saw your place. Hold on. Who are these people? Oh God, this guy. Ah, my lord. I see you've returned. Are these friends of yours, Patrick? The conference is only a day away, so I... Uh, hold on. Aren't you... Eustace Alberea, Duke Alberea's second son. I do believe we've met before, in the capital. Ho oh, ho! Well, you've certainly shot up like a beanstalk since then. I hardly recognize you. Oh, it's a shame about your father. But Rufus has been making quite a name for himself. With Kreutzen in your capable hands, I have no doubt that the Alborea name will be well on its way back to greatness. Though still nowhere near the level of House Cayenne. <laughs> My God, dude. <laughs> What's this guy's problem? It seems the rumors were true. That dude's the asshole. <laughs> oh, your face is a familiar one, too. That's right. You're in that medal ceremony in the Capitol. You're the Ashen Chevalier. Now, I'm an instructor at the Military Academy, Reen Schwarzer, at your service. These are my students from Thor's uh, branch campus. Hmm, now where have I heard of you? Ah, yes. Weren't you foisted onto Wallace? Yeah. Marcus Ballot. Anyway, I am Wilhelm Ballot. Interim Overseer of the Mayor. Though perhaps that interim disclaimer will be gone in the next couple of days. <laughs> I had to do it. I'm sorry. <laughs> now, re <laughs> I've, I've heard the princess is quite taken with you. If you want, I suppose I could take you under my wing to improve your chances. Think he can do all right by himself. A lower noble like you must hardly know how to comport himself among the... What? Wow, that was kind of a low blow. Among the aristocracy. Oh my god. I'm alright. He took that on the chin. I was kind of like, wait a minute, bro. Like, what the fuck you mean? Reen was raised, raised by a baron. Like, pretty sure he's doing alright. What? <laughs> she wants to say something so bad. What the hell is that creepy old jerk's problem? Rudeness to start with. Marquise Ballot. We heard his name in Ortis. He's the uncle of the now arrested Duke Cayenne, and next in line to be granted that very title. Huh? No way. He's going to be the most powerful noble in Erebonia? It does seem um, as though he's the leading candidate. Duke Cayenne signed no heirs before his arrest, after all. Oh boy, the future of the port city is looking bright. <laughs> yeah, sarcasm indeed. Hmm. Based on what he said, it sounds like one of the topics at the council would be nominating the next Duke Cayenne. Not officially, but yes. Why well, he had to call for that? That doesn't necessarily guarantee the, uh, that Ballot will succeed the previous Duke. But it is essential that we choose a successor. That shameful excuse for a noble or to be elected, he would clearly use the government solely for his personal gain. I would never support such a candidate. Eustace Patrick, I wish you both the uh, best and good luck with the council. I'll be rooting for you. Thank you. Likewise, good luck with your missions. And Milliam, try to stay out of trouble. Roger that. I'll be home in time for dinner. <laughs>